Hi, I'm Kevin Krentz of Krentz Stringworks, inventor of the Krentz Wolf Eliminator. The reception by cellists around the world of my new Wolf Eliminator has been exhilarating and inspiring. This video today is about how to install and how to adjust your Wolf Eliminator to enhance the sound of your instrument. The Krentz Wolf Eliminator is made with powerful neodymium magnets that must be handled with great care. In fact, it's probably best if you leave the Wolf Eliminator in its package until you're actually ready to install it in your cello. The most important thing to remember in installing your Wolf Eliminator is that the cello must be strongly angled towards you. When the cello is angled towards you, the Wolf Eliminator will go into the F hole and then simply fall over and touch the top of the cello on the inside. If the cello is perpendicular to the floor, the Wolf Eliminator will go into the hole and simply fall to the bottom of the cello. Although if that does happen, you simply take the black Wolf Eliminator magnet from the outside and you'll just fish around and find the Wolf Eliminator on the inside and then bring it up to its position. Now with your cello strongly angled towards you, take your Wolf Eliminator in one hand with the felt side and the big silver magnet and we'll insert that halfway into the F hole. Now take the black magnet with the felt on the cello and put it an inch and a half below the F hole. Then you can release the Wolf Eliminator into the cello, which will simply fall directly to the black magnet. Now we're ready to get started. I'm sure I don't have to tell you that each cello is unique. But in general, the thickest part of the top of your cello is here in the center. As it moves towards the edges though, they generally get thinner. Depending on those thicknesses, your Wolf Eliminator may have to be from this far down on the cello to this far up on the cello for best effect. Start by pulling your Wolf Eliminator up to this lower corner and then play your Wolf. First, I'll just move my Wolf Eliminator down a bit so it's about an inch and a half below this F hole. No difference. So now I'll just move it a very small amount towards the center of the instrument. Still uncontrollable. A tiny bit more. Still no effect. A tiny bit more. It's much better, but it's still only about 50% attenuated. A tiny bit more. My wolf is gone, and there's no effect on the other notes in the same position. My wolf has been stopped, but there's a whole lot more this thing will do. I start with this position, and I think to myself about this distance from the edge. And what I'm going to do is following the same distance from the edge, I'm now going to follow kind of an orbit along this area and see if I can get a difference. First I focus on my C string. And now I pull it back to the lower C bout. On this cello, when I have it in my normal wolf killing position, I do actually get a little smoother sound. So I keep moving it down a little further. And a little further. Now there, something interesting started to happen. There's definitely an increase, maybe of 10%, in the power of my instrument with the Wolf Eliminator down here. So I'll go a little further. Now my C string feels about 15% more powerful than it was when it was completely off. It's 
pretty exciting. So now, I think I'm kind of in an interesting area here. So now I'm going to adjust it latitudinally towards the bass bar. Now my wolf is gone. So now I'm going to split the difference and go backwards just a bit. I've left a tiny wolf, but in general I'm getting all the power plus some that I was getting before, and my wolf is gone. Maybe I pull it back just a few inches. Or I push it down a little further. On many cellos, the position that best brings the C to life is the same as what best brings the A to life. However, on some instruments, and I don't really know why, I can get one position that makes the A just slightly better and another that makes the C slightly better. On my cello, it's the same position. But if your cello is different, keep an eye out for that and you may have to make a compromise. Now I have with me a K. Michael Krentz, Krentz Stringworks cello. The center area of this cello's bass bar has a unique carbon fiber and spruce composite construction that lowers the mass of that important area by 45%, which results in a very powerful cello. The wolf on this cello will be a little different than the cello I had before. Let's start by finding the wolf on the cello. Sizable, not quite as bad as the other one, but it's on F. Now, I'll do the same thing I did last time. Start to swing the Wolf Eliminator below the F hole here. No change. A little further. I'm in control. Sometimes. A little further. You'll notice that on this cello, because the wood here is generally a little thicker for longer, that the wolf eliminator needs to be closer to the edge. And as I keep moving it down, I'm looking for different sound effects, tonal effects that I'd like to get. There's my wolf, so I move it towards the center. Move it further down. Now something wonderful just happened there. I actually got a better sound than I had before. I'm going to move it down a little further. It's a little less good. A little further up. And now I'm going to adjust it side to side. It's dampening it, so I'm going to pull it back a little. That's exciting. Pull it back a little. And split the difference. Now I've killed my wolf and I'm getting something that I think might be interesting. I think that's my spot. And that's the spot on this cello. If your cello is particularly thin in this area, you might find that your Wolf Eliminator needs to be here or even a little closer. Generally, the thinner the top of the cello, which is usually found on particularly old instruments of European origin, um, then you might find that your wolf eliminator needs to be generally a little closer. If your cello is a thicker instrument, if it's known for being kind of powerful and robust, you might find in general that your wolf eliminator is going to want to be a little closer to the edge to get those benefits that we're talking about. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully now you know how to get the most out of your Krentz Wolf Eliminator. And if you have any questions or needs, feel free to write me at kevin at krentstringworks.com.